Customs officers are at war with smugglers in the ports, airports and at sea. Coming up, investigators take down a drug dealer caught red-handed in Dover. His response to the drugs being found were that he had no idea they were in his trailer. In fact, it wasn't his trailer after all. The cutter crew search for cigarettes in Cornwall. This is an opportunity for you to ask the crew to bring the cigarettes to us now before we find them. Was the cigarettes that were there earlier on? They've moved down here now and they're moving things around to try and confuse us. And Joe's uniform causes confusion. What are you, a pilot? A pilot? What are you, got things no, I'm, a, I'm a customs officer. In Bristol, customs officer Joe has intercepted two passengers returning from Spain with 8,000 cigarettes. Spain is within the EU, so Joe just needs to work out their consumption rates and make sure they're not intending to sell the goods illegally. Easier said than done. Right, these are, these are your cigarettes, yeah? Yes. OK. Yeah. And how many do you smoke? Both oh, I smoke a few, a lot too. Much. She smokes a lot more than me. So how much do you smoke? Mm -hmm. Five hundred a week. Sorry? Five hundred a week. Five hundred a week. Hmm. I smoked quite a few, but um, between how many is that a day then? Fifty or sixty a day. Fifty or sixty a day. And you, and you, do you, how many do you smoke? Like a like a trooper. Have you been stopped uh, before? No, I haven't. No. Yeah, we okay. haven't stopped. Who is he anyhow? What what is he? Stop he stop he stop he stop he stop he's a pilot. Yeah, we didn't have anything. No. No. OK. All right, so you, what are you, a pilot? A pilot? Well, you've got things no, I'm, a, I'm a customs officer. Oh, oh. All right, just bear with me. I didn't minute. know that. Joe now needs to work out if he believes their story. She got open packets on him. Can't really get a lot of sense out of him. But she reckons she smokes 50, 60, and she possibly could. She's already had one. Um, she's going again on Sunday. But I'm tempted to with a well, the way everything's going, just to um, write down what he got and see what she brings in on Sunday. Yeah, it's fair enough, yeah. Joe decides to let them go. Um, you want to put them in your bag? Put them in? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Sensing it's his lucky day, the passenger decides to try it on. Cotton yeah. bottles of spirit, she could sell out the cheap. Oh, no, sorry. No, we're not like to do that. Hey, can you can't, can't do that? Hey, can you let us? Hey, <laughs> couple of bottles of spirits, just for you know, for Christmas. <laughs> um, oh, they're getting the good, getting the spirit of things. Okay. The lady will be searched again when she returns on Sunday. If she brings anything through next time she travels, then she won't be. She she'd be losing that basically. But I really doubt she she will. Um, Got it down there here it is. Two trips before yeah. that. And at the end of it, I think they're quite happy. He was quite happy, and quite a character. Um, he even offered if, uh, for me to go around his house for a cup of tea one day, which is quite nice. In Dover, customs officers face a massive challenge sniffing out drug dealers from the thousands of trucks streaming across the channel 24 hours a day. At the end of the day, we are here first and foremost to stop drugs coming into the country. That's our primary role. If we get a smell of anything, we'll track it down until we either find it or we're happy that there's nothing there. Usually the intelligence hub picks out target vehicles based on a variety of profiles. But today, Mark is literally following his nose. I just caught it again as well. He's picked up a suspicious scent, and the Dutch truck must now be thoroughly searched. Um, around the other side, when I was doing the outsides, um, I caught a whiff of what I thought was perhaps a herbal substance. Uh, I don't want to say too much, the driver's right behind you. Um, some kind of a possibly controlled drug. Yeah. I think it's, it's strong enough to have a look yeah. in the vehicle. Yeah. And three of us have, have caught a whiff of it. Off, offload bay around there. And we want, to, we want to take part of your load off and have a look in the lorry, OK? Yeah. yeah, over there, yeah. Mark then spots something else that adds to his suspicions. I just noticed that uh, the tyres and some parts of it underneath are splattered with mud. It begs the question, has it been off-road somewhere? Has it been diverted for a purpose?
The pallet he's getting off now is the one that was nearest to the smell, if you like, at the front left-hand corner. I can't smell anything now, funnily enough, but uh, we'll, we'll have a look. Yeah. The driver can claim compensation for any damage, but Mark thinks this truck needs this final test. Perhaps the smell of cannabis was coming from another vehicle, and Mark decides it's time to let this driver go. Yeah. Sprawdzono mi towar, naczepę przewiercono, prześwietlono, sprawdzono całe auto. I myślę, że wszystko jest ok, że jest super. Jest dobrze. And as one job finishes, another ferry full of potential smugglers hits the docks. Another target vehicle coming in on the 1300 arrival from Dunkirk. It's all go sometimes. I did say Thursday was a busy day. <laughs> Officers in Gatwick are also investigating a possible Class A drug smuggler acting suspiciously at immigration control. As soon as she was start to be questioned, she said she wants to go to the loo, so uh, she might have something concealed inside her or on her body. She wants to get rid of. Morning. So you've come in from Nigeria. Yes. You live in Nigeria? No, I live here. You live here? Whereabouts do you live here? Waltham Abbey. Waltham Abbey? Okay, what do you do here? Care assistant. Okay, so how long have you been in Nigeria for this trip? Two weeks. Is that a holiday or business? Holiday. Okay, seeing family, friends? Yeah, my family. Okay, this is all your baggage? Yes. And you packed it all yourself? Yes, please. Okay, you come into the Green Channel, nothing to declare. Do you understand what you're allowed to bring into the Green Channel? I'm a cloth and my food store. Okay, you realise there are other restrictions on coming into the country, things like drugs and firearms. Has anyone asked you to bring anything here? No. Has anyone forced you to bring anything here? No. Okay, let's have a quick look, shall we? Thank you. Andy searches the bags. The passenger's still acting nervous, so he also swabs the bags for drugs. The bag tests positive for heroin. So this search will have to go further. The body language is quite good. I've had a hit of, uh, for heroin on the, uh, on the iron scan. I just want a quick rub down, make sure she's not got anything. Okay, just before you go, I'd just like for a, a lady officer to make sure you have nothing on you. Okay, you have any problem with that? Oh, good, thank you. Hundreds of passengers a year are caught smuggling drugs through Gatwick. The body search will find out if this passenger is one of them. Back in Dover, the next target has been pulled by the specialist rummage team. It's an awkward load, exactly the sort of cover used by smugglers to conceal drugs and tobacco. I mean, it's just such a loose description, isn't it? I mean, it is. It's, it's a children's playground, isn't it, basically? Yeah. Well, at the moment, it's been quite easy. Yeah, the bags of balls, yeah. All <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. It might take a while. It's all going to be handballed off, basically. I mean, I don't know whether they get a forklift in there and get some of the stuff, but... I mean, yeah, you'd see things like this now and again, but, but it's not the norm. I mean, it, I, I'm just guessing it's some sort of children's playground that's been out in Spain for the season and is being brought back. It is a good cover load, isn't it? I mean, it's very yeah. difficult to get over the top of and, and to see in amongst. After hours of offloading, the team finds some suspiciously heavy wooden boxes. Yeah. No. They've made it look like, they've made it look like the, the spongy steps, haven't they? It's extremely suspicious, so the team decide to drill the boxes. And, I mean, you saw, saw the load, how difficult it was to get in. They've, they've managed to, to get themselves in there, identified these uh, packages. They've drilled a hole, and inside there's some green plastic. I think if it's in that one, it's in that one, it's in that one, and it's in that one. Stuart thinks the plastic packaging could indicate drugs. I would think that there'll be a large quantity of cannabis in there, you know, maybe up to a tonne. The driver is arrested while they work out what they found. But it's a slow, methodical... Uh, process now. The guy's arrested, there's no rush. After another two hours of careful unpacking, the moment of truth has arrived. He's just about to take the lid off. Okay. I 
think in the porn, the porn industry, this is the money shot, isn't it? <laughs> it's a massive haul of what looks like cannabis. Can't smell anything. I'm guessing it's uh, cannabis yeah. resin in there. I can't. I can't smell it. Still can't get anything off it. Smell no. the plastic. Mm. All the boxes are full of bales of cannabis, which have apparently come from a special garden. The maker's manufacturer mark. It's, it's just their. It's come from that particular cannabis farm in Morocco or wherever it is it's come from and that they put their own stamp on it and that's how it gets shipped out. The officers now want to know just how much they've seized from the smugglers. It's the biggest haul of cannabis at Dover for years. Sorry, I put 928 kilos. About. <laughs> and the specialist rummage team are delighted. 928 kilos is nearly a ton, so that's excellent. We've had a, we've had a bit of a lean period actually, our team. We've gone uh, three months maybe without anything. We've had, we've had a few little cigarette seizures might have been on the way, but but this is what we call a proper job, really. Still to come, officers get to the bottom of the suspected smuggler in Gatwick. Somebody's got a package shoved up the backside, then if you bend them over, you can either see the package or it'll come out. Coming up, officers get to the bottom of the suspected smuggler in Gatwick. And if I can get you to hold on to the side of the bench, OK, and if you can pop your butter cheeks a little bit with your hands. In Gatwick, the female officers have arrived to search the woman whose bags tested positive Hi. for heroin. We do a rub down search for us, just make sure she got nothing on her. Customs sees over 400 kilos of heroin each year, and officers in Gatwick regularly catch smugglers willing to go to great lengths to hide their packages. If you're going to do it, you might as well be thorough. And um, the, the whole bending over squatting thing, if somebody's got a package shoved up the backside, then if you bend them over, uh, and squat, then unfortunately you can either see the package or it'll come out generally. Okay, and what you'll need to do is squat down for me so I can check that you haven't got anything inserted in any of your offices, okay? So you'll need to squat down for me, turn around, bend over and pop your butt cheeks for me as well. But as I said, you won't be touched at any time, so there's no need to worry about that. And if I can get you to hold on to the side of the bench, okay, and if you can pop your butt cheeks a little bit with your hands. Part your buttock cheeks. Place. That's it, but don't fall forward, does it? That's fine, okay, and if you can just turn around for me and squat down for me as well. So I can right, okay, that's fine. The search finds nothing, but the passenger is surprisingly understanding of her treatment. It's good. Because it makes you to be scared to do such things. I came to this country just to make a living for me and my children and my family. That's it. I do my work. I can work 7, 24, 7. I don't want just a quick money or anything. I believe in my Andrew work, what I can do with my hands to get money. I know that. Today is the start of a two-week tour of duty for the customs officers aboard Customs Cutter Searcher. Which may cause a problem. The intelligence hub has identified a ship heading to the Cornish port of Foy from Turkey, the gateway to Europe for heroin from the opium poppy countries of Asia. She's Turkish with 15 Turkish crew on board. Obviously with a Turkish ship, we've got the possibility um, of heroin being on board the ship. There's also a good chance there'll be some cigarette smuggling from Romania because LMs are extremely cheap. And the race is now on to beat the ship into Foy, so the officers track the vessel into port. As may not be expecting us, I doubt very much would be expecting us. Catching smugglers off guard is vital to prevent any drugs or tobacco being thrown overboard before it can be seized. It's okay. Okay, okay, if we come in, Captain. Have you a crew declaration? Yes. A stores declaration yes. and also a ship's declaration, Captain. Um, the the captain appears to run a tight ship but sometimes the opportunity for the crew to make extra money on the side can't be resisted. My crew will be checking the vessel now, and if there's any problems at all, I'll, I'll come and have a, a word with you. I'm not expecting any, so uh, that's OK. You, you've had no problems with drugs or anything with the crew? No, no, no. I'm sure that's yeah, You're sure that's OK, yeah? OK, that's fine. Right, thank you, Captain. I mean, it's from Turkey, so 
I mean, our suspicions are aroused for heroin really more than anything else. Um, also, as we mentioned before, it's, uh, cigarettes are cheap in Turkey, and it's also come uh, via Romania and Spain, which are also quite cheap for buying cigarettes. So there is, there is a chance that the crew might be tempted to smuggle large quantities of cigarettes. Uh, but what we're really after here is heroin. Investigation officers in Dover also work around the clock to stop organised criminal gangs bringing drugs into Britain. Back in July of 2004, uh, a vehicle was stopped at uh, the Eastern Docks at Dover, driven by a gentleman by the name of David Williams. When his lorry was stopped and searched, uh, a couple of brown-taped packages were found in the cab of his lorry. The packages were full of drugs. As a result of that, David Williams was arrested. And that was how it all began. Williams was questioned about the drugs, while his truck, belonging to Peter Jones Haulage, was impounded and searched much to the annoyance of its owner. Well, Mr. Jones would have been quite enthusiastic to get his trailer back anyway, because he had a business to run, apparently. There had been one or two calls uh, uh, where he would uh, make inquiries as to when he could have his trailer back. And, uh, well, he was uh, overly enthusiastic, in my opinion. Alerted by his urgency to recover the truck, investigators began to dig into Peter Jones's background. Peter Jones had been convicted twice before in 1997 as part of a conspiracy to import uh, drugs within um, adapted exhausts in units, art articulated units. At that point, uh, I sort of decided that perhaps we ought to look a bit deeper into the, uh, either the unit or the trailer. Now knowing Peter Jones's pedigree, the search wouldn't miss the clues a second time. In the side locker of the trailer, there was a box of, of grey bungs, uh, and they were sort of consistent with the, the bungs that were holding the mud guards over the wheels on the trailer. They found a strange tool which unlocked a secret compartment full of Class A drugs. Once uh, they finished the search, they removed uh, uh, a large number, of, a further large number of packages, uh, uh, and uh, a significant quantity of cocaine and heroin amongst those packages. The elaborately engineered concealment fitted perfectly with Jones's previous attempt, and it was obvious why he'd been so keen to get his truck back. A team of specialist officers went to Liverpool to arrest Jones and gather financial evidence, which would prove his lavish lifestyle could only be funded by drug dealing. So it's put to Mr Jones during the interview that he seemed to have a, a far better standard of living than the officer who interviewed him, who coincidentally was on the same money that was declared by Jones. And Jones quite simply said, well, he didn't drink and he didn't smoke. And by making these savings, he could afford the extra three or four cars a year, the big house, the luxury holidays. When interviewed, Jones denied any knowledge of the attempted importation. His response to the drugs being found were that he had no idea they were in his trailer. Um, his response to the fact that the trailer had been adapted suggested to him that, in fact, it wasn't his trailer after all. It, uh, it must have been David Williams that switched the trailers, and in fact, his trailer had gone somewhere, disappeared. So uh, I set out to, to prove that the trailer did belong to him. But investigators found serial numbers on the recently replaced tires, which they traced to a supplier. They confirmed it was Jones who'd paid for the tires, in cash. The game was surely up for Jones, but he wasn't ready to give in yet. He'd uh, pleaded not guilty uh, um, for, for some time, and uh, it, it was quite surprising that he had, bearing in mind uh, the evidence that was gradually building up. Jones pleaded guilty on the day of the trial and was sentenced to 13 years in prison for attempting to import drugs worth over a million pounds. He was a very greedy man and he, he became complacent and he, he was caught. Meanwhile, back in Cornwall, no heroin has been found, but a search for cigarettes is underway. No problem, is that okay, yeah? The Turkish crew are only allowed 200 cigarettes each whilst in UK waters. All other tobacco must be kept in a sealed store called the Pond. That's right. Hello there, boys. Uh, as far as the crew themselves go, nobody has declared more than 200 cigarettes. Um, and only four people have any spirits at all. But what the crew declare isn't always the whole truth. And so the officers must search the entire ship for illegal goods, which might be destined for the local black market. Not surprisingly, the cabin searches reveal a few stray cigarettes. It's, it's okay so far. I mean, some of the crew have got a little bit extra, but uh, 
There's no point upsetting people just for uh, tiny quantities of cigarettes. But Woody also finds a stash in the ship's office and in the wheelhouse. The ship may not be as clean as first thought. Was the cigarettes that were there earlier on? These? OK. We've checked in here already. We've checked the chief officer's cabin. And the cigarettes that were up there have moved down here now, and they're moving things around to try and confuse us. Right, on this occasion, can you tell the chief I'll just take the cigarettes from him? Otherwise, we have these going ashore for, for business, yeah? And we, don't, we want no business in Foy. So I wouldn't usually take a small amount like that, but because he's been obstructive in trying to move the cigarettes around, um, that's the reason I'm taking them from him. Well, we're just a bit concerned that there seems to be a lot of stray cigarettes around the vessel. Yes. Um, we found, like you said, 300 in the chart table, 300 mm -hmm. in the office. Yes. Are there any more cigarettes before we search the vessel any further now? I think no, Shay. Sure. Just a moment, please. No. no that's definitely no more cigarettes, no? No. If, if there are any more cigarettes now, this is an opportunity for you to ask the crew to bring the cigarettes to us now before we find them. If we find cigarettes now when we search, we will be, we, you know, we will have to work for them and we will be cross uh, and we will probably find, find the vessel. Okay. okay. So a, this is a chance for you to come to yes. us now with any cigarettes, yeah? Okay. No, we don't have the more cigarettes. No more cigarettes. Okay, okay. okay good. Thank yeah. you, Captain. Okay. But Woody then finds another 2,000 cigarettes in the captain's cabin, which will have to be seized. Yes. In one drawer, or four. Uh -huh. He stood in front of the next drawer. Uh -huh. I searched everywhere, waited for him to move, and opened the drawer he stood in front of. Yeah. Opened the drawer, found the remainder. The embarrassed captain asks senior officer Colin for clemency. Could I take back the little bits? Because not enough our cigarettes for the Turkey from here. For that reason, could I take a little bit more cigarettes? You go back to Turkey? 11 days. Yes. 11 days trip? Mm -hmm. From here. Plus two days here, Yeah. 13 days. Captain, okay. okay, I'm sorry, but the answer is... If, if, I say, if, if you say the, opinion. I know, I know, but if you put in the list, you'd said the cigarettes that you had, we could have had them in the bond locker, but because you... Yeah, of course. Did that, but you didn't tell us you had the cigarettes. OK. OK, and it's, it's in this country, I know some places you go, there's representation, cousins come, they take cigarettes, yeah, yeah, yeah. all that happens. Here, it doesn't happen. The cigarettes will all be destroyed, and the vessel will receive a hefty fine if caught breaking the rules again. There was insufficient evidence to charge the driver of the playground truck, but 980 kilos of cannabis worth £2.8 million is safely off the streets.